New at 11, a head-turning protest on the boulevard. Anti-abortion activists demonstrated for hours. This is not outside an abortion clinic, but outside a trucking company. Katie Beck is live in Richmond. And Katie, why was that company the target for protesters? Well, Steph, protesters said they were intending to stop this Richmond company from lending their trucks to transporting medical waste from abortion clinics. This demonstration caused quite a stir, especially for the owner of this company, who says those plans aren't in the works. There was no game at the Diamond Thursday afternoon, but plenty of spectating going on just outside it. A graphic anti-abortion protest claimed the corner across from the stadium. People different disagree with us, and now uh, that's America, freedom of speech, the right to propagate your ideas and engage in discussion with other people. The group was surrounding this local truck leasing business called Ideal Lease. They say the company was considering renting their trucks to a company called Stericycle that picks up medical waste, including fetal remains from abortion clinics. But not all passerbys appreciated the signage. I, I think that's really disturbing that they would have exposed not only the general public to that, but children out there. Others from their car windows saw value in the message. It's a child inside somebody. And, you know, unfortunately, that's what the child looks like. In a brief statement, the owner of Ideal East Richmond says there is no contract with Stericycle and there's no plans to have one. But protesters claim the company changed directions after management learned of their demonstration Thursday afternoon. As a result of this picket, as a result of this protest, they called, their attorney called us and said that they're not going to sign the contract, they're backing out of that deal, and it's not going to happen. Now, Richmond police were called by Ida Lease during this protest that lasted several hours long, but they told the company that as long as the demonstrators stayed off their property, there was really nothing they can do. The owner of Ida Lease says he is in talks with his attorney about a reaction to this protest. We're live in Richmond tonight. Katie Beck, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Katie.